Hi, I'm Tammy Jacoby. I completed a thousand workouts. I've been at Fit Club for about six and a half years and um, it closed during the pandemic. So it became a lifeline for me. And since then I've been doing either the virtuals or the replays. What the biggest change from a hundred to the thousand workouts for me is that it's just difficult. Working out is sometimes painful and it's easier to just not work out. It's easier to eat and uh, just lie in bed. But what happened over time was that one workout became less difficult and three workouts became less difficult. And it turned out in the end that I needed them. I need that serotonin to go up because it's not just a body, it's a body-mind connection. So I feel something is missing or just off when I don't work out. My biggest struggle uh, to complete the thousand workouts was just the time and effort that I needed to put in. It's a lot of workouts and I never thought that I'd make it. It just seemed almost impossible, but the best thing is to stick to the plan and even if it's painful, just do it. So the biggest three contributing factors to my success were persistence. Uh, I didn't complete a thousand workouts as quickly as the others did at the club. I, um, I was consistent though, and I didn't work out too hard because then I would have burnt out uh, and quit. So I, I didn't work out too leniently um, but I didn't work out too hard either. And I've seen results and the results are probably what kept me the, the most motivated. The second, uh, of course, are the coaches. They're my biggest inspiration, particularly RJ and Jessica and Corinne and Jesse and Rick and Jennifer and now Thunder. <clears throat> and RJ neutralized any and every excuse that I came up with when we turned to the virtuals because it was too early for me. But all the coaches pu uh, pushed me really hard and I can see the changes that they've made and that inspires me to make changes in myself. The third is that I've had many health problems. I'm probably the healthiest unhealthy person you'll ever meet. Um, my diagnosis as pre-diabetic was scary, so I changed my whole diet and I changed my whole workout routine. And I, um, I think I've, I've overcome that because I don't have a pre-diabetic um, diagnosis anymore. So uh, another thing that motivated me was that uh, I have three kids. The first one I, I had at 24, the second at 30, but the fourth one was at 41 and I want to live a long life and the way that I would do that I think is to just be healthy and stay the course. So I think that RJ and Jessica contributed the most to my success because I feel the most connected to them and I've been in touch with them the most. And what I would say to myself in the past is you can do it. I didn't think I could but I did. And my words of encouragement for anybody else that is pursuing a thousand workouts is to just to keep at it. Even when you think you can't go another second, just be patient with yourself. Uh, take cues from your body and tailor the workout to how you feel that day. And just remember that a mediocre workout is better than no workout. And it's crucial not to overdo it because you could hurt yourself or you could quit and you just need to fit exercise into your daily routine, make it a priority and make it as natural as getting up and brushing your teeth in the morning. So I wish the best of success for all of you that are just starting and for those of you who have been doing it as long as I have. Bye.